story time. So Mario and I just got done picking up uh, all this merch for uh, the hashtag golf tournament, September 11th at Diamond Hawk. So we got a lot of really cool things planned. We're going to kind of peek you into some of that. Like right here, we've got some gorgeous canvases, which I'll, I guess I'll preview a little bit of. Oh, that's all you can see. Oh, <laughs> the gorgeous canvases that they're going to be at the golf tournament at the silent auction. Um, we've got some jerseys here. That's really what we were picking up. Um, and boy, do we have some stories for you. Oh, my God. So oh my God. the gentleman that we picked up these jerseys from, we're going to we didn't ask him for permission. So we're going to not share his name. But boy, does he have some awesome stories about just the Bills in general. Because he gets autographs for a living. So that's that's kind of his thing. Start with the judge one first, though. I mean, it, that was, yeah. I want to start with that because it's lead up to the Bills one. Yeah. So he, he literally had the security guard for the Yankees write an email to his employer about the fact that he got yelled at for getting a judge autograph on the tarmac of the airport. <laughs> and uh, they, uh, and the guy's like, I'm, I make $12 an hour. You think I can get fired? <laughs> it's like, how do you stop? Like if somebody said, if somebody was doing something, they were told they couldn't do. And they go, what do you, so I make $12 an hour. What are you going to do to me? What, uh, what possibly could go worse? The fact that the security point. guard ended up emailing. I just love it. I love it. He was that mad and tilted that he had to email the guy's boss. Yeah. I mean, at, if the guy's like, what, what are you going to do, fire me? I'd be like, you're right. You're right. Like, I understand where you're coming from. I do the same thing. Because you're Aaron right. Judge. Like, I'm never going to meet this guy. Right. Because he, yeah. So... Saving some of the stories, I want to show you a couple of things that we have. So kind of the way that this is going to work is we're going to give, uh, there's a jersey per foursome. Uh, so depending on where you finish, that's going to determine what jersey you get, uh, yada, yada. So uh, not everybody in the foursome gets a jersey. We're not millionaires, um, but we're going to we're gonna give it away per group, okay? So we've got some cool ones. I just grabbed a handful of them just to show you what we got. So like we got Tremaine. Pro Bowl. Very Pro excited Bowl. about that. Of course, the Allen, Allen Wyoming. Wyoming jersey. Yep. That's pretty sweet. This one I'm super pumped about. It's the Black Kelly Gamblers. I love it. I'm pretty I stoked love, about I that. I cannot jersey. wait. I love that one. And we have a very special jersey. It's autographs. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to tell everyone about that one when we finally when we finally, when we finally release. When we yeah. release the... Uh, the autograph jersey. Yes, it's not a. Uh, it's not a 2008 Wineski jersey. Don't it worry. is not. It is not. Uh, but these are all great things. These are like at the, the jerseys we're gonna give away, one per foursome. So like yeah. that's, you know, uh, we're really excited. Like, the canvases are gorgeous. I didn't know they were gonna be. I'm glad we didn't bring the Prius. Um, <laughs> Can you imagine tying those roof. canvases to the roof? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be able to film. <laughs> we take off. <laughs> Did I, I don't know if you know this. Uh, Rick Rarick from um, M25 Farms built a Bill's Cornhole set to give away at the silent auction. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yes. I, I think that anything Rick builds is probably with like the utmost like craftsmanship. Yes. He's got like a Bill's Combine. Like a Bill's logo combine, so <laughs> I'm willing to believe that Rick is this is well within his skill set to have built a cornel. Set. Pretty sure he's a he's a DIY guy. Yeah, just throwing out a just, limb. Yeah, just throwing it out there, probably DIY. So we're super pumped about that. Yeah, um, can't wait. I can't. I cannot wait. And we've got more stories that we'll share about the Bills and and about you know. Some of the autograph stories, we'll share those with you at the golf tournament. Yeah. Uh, September. Funny. Yeah, September 11th at Diamond Hawk. Hey, even if you don't golf, come for dinner. We're doing a show right Absolutely. afterwards. Come for dinner. Please do. Yeah. Please do. Ever been to Chick-fil-A? No. Me neither. Do you know when I want Chick-fil-A? When? Sundays. On Sundays. Yep. Figured. Isn't that weird? No. Yeah, breakfast chicken. What a great idea. Your stomach doesn't know what time it is. Yeah, my mouth does.
My mouth says it's coffee time. My mouth says it's McDonald's time. Are you hungry? I am. That Boston cream donut didn't do it for you? What's yogurt in a donut? <laughs> you got some great one liners, Paul. Which watch. reminds me, uh, no. for the. Well, no, no, no. Uh, in the comments section, I want you to leave your favorite hashtagisms, right? So we, we've got some extra holes. We didn't sell sponsorships to all the holes. So uh, if you know anybody that wants to sponsor, email us at hshagsports.com. We'll put up a sign, put it on the hole. Hashtagisms. We'll, yeah, hashtagisms. Like, like, for example, minus is one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's the thing. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Those are what I'm looking at, right? Yours would just have quotes on the back of the shirt to say, right? <laughs> With a question mark. <laughs> Blanks on control right? of play. Yeah. <laughs> see when Paul wants you to get to, when Paul wants you to see his point, he'll 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 talk about what he wants to talk about and then he'll just punctuate it with right. <laughs> Trying to get you Yeah, yeah, I, okay Paul. I, I see that. Hashtag isms. I wonder how many we have. I'm sure there's a variety of hashtag isms. You know which one's coming? No. Nine and seven. Oh, there's gonna be a couple of those. We've already covered it. You don't have to type it 76 oh, times. Don't think that that's not going to be on a sign somewhere. I'm printing a sign that says 9 and 7, and you, my my friend, are going to autograph it and give it to somebody at that tournament. There's no way around it. Who wants my autograph? On a 9 and 7 sign? Buddy, that's locking it on your tombstone. My autograph is much more in-depth than Stefan <laughs> Oh, That's all I know. <laughs> Listen, I don't know if we have a Sharpie big enough for those banana hands you got. I sign roughly around 100 autographs a year. You didn't know that, did you? What? Mostly on my checks. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why I sign them.